me anyway. But now you can go on to um, the page and see if I'm live. All right. Yep, there I am. Live. I'm going to turn my canvas a little bit like that. You like that? Oh, they can see my paint. Okay, so that looks great. Mm -hmm. All right, we're waiting patiently. Nobody's on yet. Inel's on. Hey, Inel. Can you hear me okay? I'm going to start getting my paints together while we wait. Hey, everyone. It's Jen with Jen's Den, and Mike is here as well. Say hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Okay, awesome. Say hi, Mike. Ha, ha. <laughs> so... We are experiencing a little snow tonight. Can you see it? All right, so let's, let me get some colors going here, and then I'll tell you what colors I'm using. Catherine is on, Mom. Catherine Lytle. I've got a master's degree with Catherine Lytle. Oh, Lido. really? Oh, that's yes. awesome. Um, Say hello, Catherine. This is what we're painting. Hi, Catherine. Thanks for coming on. And we have another giveaway tonight. And our giveaway tonight is a little Easter shelf sitter. Can you see it? The Easter bunny shelf sitter. So the one that I'm painting for you guys that I'm giving away is going to have multicolor um, flowers on it. So this is just a cute little 4x4 four four Easter shelf sitter that I am giving away tonight. Keith is on. Hey, Keith. My Thanks so much Keith. for the love. My we love you. <laughs> he's, he's giving us. If you would like to win this Easter shelf sitter, all you have to do is sprinkle the love. And that's <laughs> another word for sharing this video and letting your friends know that we are live right now. So you can win this 4x4 four four Easter shelf sitter if you do that. Hey, Sandy. Oh, y'all are having flakes today, too, in North Dakota. Yeah, that's wow. our neighbor. Well, it's so good to have you. All right, so we are painting this cute little dragonfly tonight, and I'm just getting all of my colors ready. And then I'm going to show you what colors I'm using. How are y'all doing? Tell us where you're from and say hello. And remember, we have a giveaway tonight. The love is sprinkled. Thank you, Keith. I appreciate it. And I told him to come and visit. He can't come visit. Oh. Not right now. He can drive. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't come visit. We're quarantined, remember? Oh, yeah. You have to wait. So I see that we have some people on tonight. Please say hello. Just give us a, a thumbs up or something, a shout heart, out. a shout out. And I will announce this a few more times. Charlene's on. Hi, Charlene. Yay, happy days. <laughs> so if you sprinkle the love you get an opportunity to win this cute little 5x5 five five shelf sitter tonight. Actually, it's a 4x4. Four four. I'm sorry. I'm giving away the 4x4. Four four. And the flowers are actually going to be multicolor. So it's a cute little Easter shelf sitter that I will mail out to you um, within the next couple of days. So you get a chance to win this if you show me that you sprinkle the love, a.k.a. share this live so tell us how you're doing and we are going to get started ginger post is old mom 
and Shauna. Hey, Ginger. Hey, Shauna. So glad you could join us tonight. So here's some of the colors I'm using so far. This is a really vibrant, just a, a royal blue for our background. This is a really pretty um, aqua blue. It's actually, I'm using really cheap paint tonight. It's called um, Laguna from Apple Barrel. Apple Barrel is a Walmart brand, um, or no, Craftsmart is a Walmart brand. This is a uh, bright blue. Um, this is actually a green. It is, um, let's see, where did my green glow? Okay, this is from Blick, and it is called hmm, it says Phthalo Green. P-H-T-H-A-L-O Green. So we're using some Phthalo Green there. Of course, we have our white, and we have our yellow, and we're going to start with those colors. And I'm using a really fun color tonight that may be something that you don't have, but it's going to be super fun. This is called Iridescent White, mm. and the Iridescent, I don't know if you can see... I'm trying to show you it has it's kind of like a transparent white but it has a little bit of glitteriness to it and that's in the wings of the dragonfly so that's what we're going to be using tonight on this painting i think oh and of course black we always need a little bit of black in there so you know i put my black there all right paint brushes we're not using any um palette knives tonight paint brushes mm. we are using let's see we got just a flat brush for the background we're gonna actually go a little bit smaller than this let's go with mm, let's go I'm gonna use both of these I'm gonna use a flat brush for the solid background and then I'm gonna add a little bit of texture to the background with this um, Filbert brush. This is a half inch Filbert brush. And then we have really, really small um, liner brushes. And then um, this is what, like a quarter inch flat brush as well that we might, we may or may not use. But those are my brushes I'm using tonight. Cheryl and Fletcher are on. Two different people. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Fletcher. So glad you could join us tonight. Okay, so this paint is runny, and that's because it's a cheap paint. I'm going to go into the white and the blue, and this is going to be my background. So, background is just, we're just going to blend it in as much as possible. Mostly blue, not a lot of white. Oh, and what am I working on? I'm working on an 8x8 eight eight canvas. But you can work on any size canvas or any size board that you want. I just like these small ones because they're just so cute. And you can always, something about these little ones, and especially when you do like um, <laughs> seasonal paintings, you can change them. You know, you can change them often in your house, so... It's just fun. A classmate of Shauna's from Duke is watching, and Shauna says, "Say Shauna says hi to Guy." <laughs> so that's awesome. Oh, say hi. Yeah. Wait, I didn't understand you, but hey. Oh. <laughs> Shauna says hi to Guy. Oh, yes. okay. Hi to Guy. Okay. <laughs> He's from Duke. Is watching. Yeah. Say Shauna says hi. Hey, hey, Guy. Shauna says hi. Shauna's my best friend from um, from grade school. So if you know Shauna and Keith, then you have something we have something in common there. Ann is on. Hey, Ann. Thank y'all so much for coming on. And I'm going to show you again. We interrupt this public broadcast for a quick show of... 
If you share the love, AKA share this video, or if you sprinkle the love and you share this video, you get a chance to win this cute little Easter shelf sitter, four by four Easter shelf sitter that will be sent to your house and will be Lysol down before I send it to you. That's right. <laughs> Debbie's on. Hey, Debbie. Thanks for coming on. Okay, so we are still just working on the background. And I hope you can see our other background that we have there. What do y'all think? We are having snow tonight. I don't know if you can see that or not, but... It's still warm outside, though. It's, it's 38. Sweet. All right. So we're going to do something a little bit different with our background than I did on my original. My original was just solid blue, and I was just playing around with that. Right now, I'm going to add just a little bit of fun to this, and I call it a little bit of fun. I just want to add just a little bit of texture and I'm mixing up a little bit of blue and yellow and white and I am not blending this I am just tapping very oh and said something very very sweet what did Anne you are say? so good at painting I hope to be one day staying in that oh is, yeah it is the best decision i have ever made i am so glad i made it and you are right on and Anne, i hope everything's going well in mississippi yes prayers to everyone and for the rest of you in in chicago and minnesota and north dakota and tennessee and just uh we hope you guys are all well We will get through this, California. guys. Don't worry. Mm. So, um... Sprinkle the love. That's right, Debbie. Yep. Sprinkle the love. And, honestly, I started painting um, less than five years ago, and I knew that one day I wanted to start an online... I knew that I had a passion for teaching. That was that was no lie because I have 25 years of teaching experience in um, the public school system. But I also knew that I wanted to retire early and start an online teaching community. I didn't want to do math, which is what my major is in. But my passion is more on teaching than it is math. Sue's on, by the way. Hey, Sue. And she says she loves your art. Oh, thank you. Right? That's really nice. Isn't that sweet? Um, and so, <laughs> anyway, getting back to my little story. Um, I, I've always had a passion to want to do this from home. And I... I even went to school to get my master's in educational technology to learn how to do the technology side of online teaching because it was always something that I knew I wanted to do. So here I am, and I am absolutely loving it, and I hope you are too. Jen, I just want to throw a shout out uh, concerning membership is now open. Yes, it, it is. It is $29 a month. Um, We've doubled our membership in the last two days. Um, so it's been a wonderful opportunity to be a part of a, a group of people that share love with one another, share the struggles, hey, and Carrie. find joy in painting. Yes, absolutely. So yeah, we are open right now. Who'd you say um, hi to? Carrie? Car I see Carrie Lemoyne is watching. I don't okay. see this. You don't? No, I really need help uh, technology. I wish I had <laughs> I wish I had a person I was in, married to that had a master's in technology. <laughs> so okay. Debbie asked, cobalt blue and what other color? Um, so far, it's just basically a little bit of white and yellow that I mix to kind of make the background. That's it. It was, it's the blue 
the white and the yellow, but mo mainly the blue. It's just a really, really pretty blue color. And I'm, I'm gonna go back over it some more with the blue because I like it so much. But you know, there's something about painting that you, you have to make sure you understand. You can choose whatever blue you have in stock. You don't have to go buy just because, you know, I'm using a certain color blue. You don't have to go buy that. You could just use what you have in stock. And it doesn't even have to be blue. It could be purple. It could be whatever color you want. But, of course, you know, right now, this um, painting was inspired by a photograph. Of course, you know, I am still an artist who uses photographs as inspiration. I am not the type of artist. Um, I'm just not that advanced. I can't come up with my own pictures without, or paintings without looking at something to make sure that I paint it correctly. So, um, you know, the, the shapes of things and all of that, I still have to look at something to be able to do that. So just keep that in mind when you're choosing your colors because it doesn't matter what blue you use. Okay, so what are we going to do now? We are going, this is kind of like a, a, a green stalk of grass nice. that the dragonfly has landed on. So we are going to mix a little bit of this phalo green. It's really, really rich. It's a really rich green because it's an expensive green. Mm. And we're going to mix it with a little bit of yellow. What do you mean it's an expensive green? The paint is an expensive oh. brand. <clears throat> what brand is it? Um, you know, did I? It's Blick. Blick. But it's a heavy bot. Well, no, it's just studio acrylic. Okay. So it's not, it's kind of like a <clears throat> medium. Okay. So anyway. Sun's um, really falling, by the way. Yeah, that's crazy. We thought we were experiencing spring, but I guess not yet. Okay, so... We're just mixing a little bit of this phthalo green because I'm trying to get like a really rich green color. And this phthalo green, look at my paint. It's dripping all over. That's the cheap stuff. It, it drips. Sandy said so. she signed up today and wanted to do the annual, but it didn't give that opportunity at the time. Oh. It offered after I signed up. Oh, wait. Who signed up? Sandy. Sandy who? Sandy Strulo. Well, Sandy, I didn't see your sign up go through, so I'll have to look at that and see what's going on. Just, um, I'll email you, or if you send me your email, I'll look at it. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm still learning how to use that membership site and sometimes it doesn't work right. and just a shout out to sandy sandy we really appreciate you uh she's from north dakota and uh, it's our neighbor so yeah so you're gonna have a wonderful time sandy we're Absolutely. going to uh we're going to give you love that's what we do not just us everybody else in the tribe that's do we have right. any tribe members out there tonight kathy's own love these colors and i love you guys too oh, oh what kathy's a member huh oh yeah isn't she yeah thank you kathy um wow we really do spend a lot of time helping each other out in all kinds of ways so it's really a blessing okay so we're starting with this little sandy did say it went through so, oh, it did go through? Yeah, but still, I mean, we're still going to check on you, uh, Sandy, make sure you're taken care of. Okay, yeah. Because I didn't see that one yet. Of course, I haven't checked over the half of the day, afternoon. I haven't checked on anything. I was working on the um, my website, making sure it was working right. Okay, so I'm making this stock here. Kind Roxanne of. Cheney is on, by the way. Hey, Roxanne, that's another tribe member. And she says she loves this painting. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. 
I had a couple of y'all in the tribe say, I want to do dragonflies. So, here you go. All right, so what I'm doing right now on my palette is I'm making kind of like a lime green, a really light green. And the way that I'm doing that is green and yellow and a little bit of white. And so I'm mixing all of that up and I'm coming on the right side. Now notice what it's doing. This is what I want it to do. I want it to mix with the darker green so that it makes like this streaky look to it. And it looks like the sun's coming in from the right. Mm, I so, like that. Yeah, isn't it pretty? Mm -hmm. So that's all we do we are doing right now with this. Okay, now we need some more stalks. So we are gonna go back to our dark green. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of black. Oh, way too much black, Ginger. Way too much black. Okay. Where are you putting the black? I'm sorry, I'll watch. I, <laughs> um, I'll watch. I'll watch. <laughs> I just wanted to make... I can't do that because... I just wanted to make a darker green, but I just dabbed my brush in the black to make it a really dark green, and I dabbed way too much black. So, I'm going on the side here. I just want it to be a shade darker than what I actually had there because I'm coming on top right here mm. with another stalk. And I just want it to be a little darker. So there we go. And up here. Roxanne said, Jen, was that right? It looks left. Does it matter? Oh, did I say right? No, I think you... It, I don't know what you said. I don't know what I said, Roxanne. But what Remember, is I'm 49 years old. I don't always say the right things. <laughs> Does it matter? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. I guess she's talking about the, the light green on the side. I don't know. I'm lost. Help us out. What exactly were you talking about? Okay, so I'm doing the same thing again. I'm using like the lime green that I had made and I'm making the left side of the stalk a little lighter. <laughs> Roxanne says, me either, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Jane says hello from Kansas. Hey Jane, Kansas. We have passed through Kansas a number of times. We're big travelers. Yep. And it is a beautiful state. Actually, I haven't found any areas in the United States that are not beautiful. And Norma is on. Hey Norma. Norma Clua. Norma is a painting fool. She has sent some, you know, every Tuesday in the free Facebook group, I post a, a, um, a post where you can share any of your paintings that you're working on. It doesn't have to be a Jim's Den painting. It could be anything. And I got so much, or the group got so much feedback this past week. I was so excited. So, um... Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you knew that. Uh, Anne said, is the paint that you're using glossy because it shines so pretty? Um, I do not know. Maybe it's because it's wet hmm. that it's shining like that. And Debbie's from Kentucky, by the way. This one says matte, but it's I haven't used it yet. It's Apple Barrel. The um the blue one doesn't say anything. It just says acrylic paint. So. Well, I now sure. said um uh, explain the left and right thing. She said uh you said the light was coming from the right. Oh. But that, you put yeah. your light color to the to left. them from the left. Yeah, that was a boo boo on my part. The light is coming from the left. Sorry about that. Thanks, Anel. 
I I I only know number stuff, not not a <laughs> so did you me tell not you directions. Debbie, did you hear me tell you that Debbie's from Kentucky? Yeah. Yep. Beautiful state. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so here's the fun part. Y'all ready to draw this dragonfly? This is the part that makes me nervous because you kind of have to have a little bit of drawing skills to do this. Um, Mom, Trisha's watching us. Trisha Armand. Hey, Trisha. How are you tonight? Okay. So I'm going to start by kind of drawing out our dragonfly. And so let me show you again what we're going to be doing. Mama Sherry and Suzanne have liked our page. So hello to Sherry and Suzanne. Oh, hey, Sherry and Suzanne. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, if you are watching right now and you stay till the end and you share the love or sprinkle the love, like they say, you have a chance to win this cute little Easter shelf sitter that I have. Actually, the flowers are going to be multicolored. It's a four by four shelf sitter, and I call it a shelf sitter because it's thick enough to where you can just put it on a shelf or, you know, wherever you want your um, mantel piece or wherever. And you have a chance to win this for free. So if you share this, your name will be put into the drawing for that. All right. So let's go back to this. We are going to start our dragonfly. I'm just going to make a little spot there. The top of our dragonfly is going to go about right here and the bottom is going to go about right here. Okay, so he's going to be about that long and then his wings are going to span out. Now what am I using to make these these little dots? I'm using just a little bit of paint. That's all. It's any color you want. Something that you can see. So his wings are going to go from way over here to trying to make it as like a line going straight down. So I'm basically just making a cross. Okay. Oh, that's a good reference. Yeah. Can yeah. you see that cross there? Yeah. Okay, we're going to cover those colors, so it doesn't really matter what color it is. Just don't make it too bright. It, okay. Yeah, it's hard for me to see. Is it, not, uh, is okay, it bright just, or something? Do I need to zoom in? Um, I can see it, but let me zoom in for them so they can see it a little bit. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Is it a zoom in, or is it just moving the whole thing closer? Okay, I didn't mean to do that. What'd you do? I I made it huge. Well, that's actually good. Is that better, y'all? Can you see that better? Oops, sorry. I don't want to make everyone dizzy. How's that? Is it blurry? Is that better? Better picture? I don't know. Nobody said anything yet. Oh, I know it says great. Okay, good. So, okay. Okay, good. Donna LaCour is watching, by the way. Hey, Donna. Okay, so we basically just made a, um, a cross. Okay. And now I'm just going to... I'm using like a... Uh, Tina's from Santa Ma. Tina's on. Hey, Tina. And Tessie said looks good. Okay, good. Tessa. Tessa. Sorry, Tessa. Okay, perfect. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by just making a little, like, eye area. So we're making one little circle, and then... And no blur, by the way. Okay, good. 
two little circles there. It's kind of big, but that's okay. We're just going to have a cute little dragonfly going on here. And then, let's see, right around the center here, we're going to go with kind of like an oval shape. And Tessa's from Marksville. Hey, Tessa. Isn't that awesome? I'm originally from Moraville. Did you know that? Haven't lived in Moraville for over 30 years, but I'm originally from there. And my mom, my brother lives in Mansura. And my mom lived in Moorville and Bordmobile growing up. Okay, so the tail is just going to come out here. You want me to close it? Mm, it's fine. So I want to apologize, everyone. I tried to get the outdoors when Ginger's painting, but now that I've zoomed in on the painting, Wow, that's a lot better. I can see the paint. Yeah. So I, I'll do that from now on um, so that you guys can have the, the, the best view of the painting. Okay, so let's go from here. We will make these... Let's kind of make them the same, so. Joyce is on, and she is in central Louisiana. Hey, Miss Joyce. And Tessa, thank you. She says she loves watching other artists create. I know. Isn't it fun? I do yeah. it all the time. When I go to bed at night and I'm in bed, I'm like, oh, let me pull up some YouTube videos of other people painting. I do it all the time, and I love it. Uh, let's go a little bit longer. Okay, so the end of it's going to be rounded here. And then we're going to come back like this. Let's see if I can do the same thing on this side. Y'all know there are over 3,000. This is something good for you to do. Look up dragonflies information. There are over 3,000 different types of dragonflies. Man, I've been waiting to do that all night. And do you know <laughs> if dragonflies cannot fly, they cannot eat. They only eat when they fly. So they will die of starvation if they can't fly. Did you know that they are ancient insects? No. No. Yeah. They also breathe, uh, dragonfly nymphs breathe through their anus. What? Yes. Yeah. Are you making that up? No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I, I and just... they are very good for eating the mosquitoes. Which, we don't have mosquitoes in Montana, but living in Louisiana, we loved our dragonflies coming around. They were always really, really popular around the springtime. Do y'all like dragonflies? I do. In Louisiana, the most popular dragonflies we had were either the green or the blue. So I'm kind of doing a greenish bluish dragonfly here. All right. So here is our drawing of our dragonfly. I hear a little buddy out there somewhere. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. My son lives in our basement and <laughs> What's wrong? Well, when I said the dragonfly breathes, breathes through his anus, Debbie uh, said, only if they're not constipated. <laughs> <laughs> True that. <laughs> True that. True okay, that. so I'm making his, his uh, feet, legs, whatever, come out right here. He's holding on to this branch.
and I'm using a little bit of black to do that. And he also has a couple of long feet coming out right here. But that's gonna, it's gonna kind of be hidden behind eventually. But I can see them in the painting. I'm gonna show you the painting in a second. They just kind of come out like that. And since we're a diverse um, group of people, we have diverse, diverse information. I nail has informed us that fishing is getting good in Louisiana because the green dragonflies are now out. Oh, yep. makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Right. So this is the painting that I'm, the reference painting that I'm going, or the reference photo, I'm sorry, that I'm going off of. The actual color of my printer is not correct. Um, but that is the reference photo that I found for this dragonfly. And I'm using him as an inspiration. Nice. There's an old movie with Kevin Costner called Dragonfly. Oh, yeah. I need to watch that. I love Kevin Costner. He's such a great... Speaking of Kevin Costner, what is... Yellowstone. Yellowstone. That happens in Montana. It's that about, is about one two of my and a half favorite hours from us. shows. About two and a half hours from us. Okay. So, we're just having a good old conversation here with y'all. Yeah, we are. I love it. That's why I like to come on live. Yeah, I just want to make another um, shout out. Um, you can join Jen's Den Art Tribe for $29 a month. You get a multitude of paintings uh, in a, on a monthly basis, uh, live paintings. You also get a newsletter uh, informing you of great deals that are coming. That's just for members. And in addition to all of that, which sounds wonderful, uh, we like to share um, our, our concerns, our love with one another. And, and help build one another up because we're not ashamed of God. We're not ashamed of the gospel. Uh, and we want to uh, ensure that during this time where we may be feeling some stress that we have an outlet. And our outlet is painting. Our outlet is being involved with people who are like-minded. Uh, not only with God, but in, in enjoying a relaxing time and developing a wonderful skill. So we invite you to come on. Yes. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> well, whoopity dooty. <laughs> um our membership is open for um Oh yeah, how many more days? A limited time. Well, I originally said until Friday. But because we've doubled membership, right? I am so thinking about up. keeping it open until Sunday. Yeah, I think so. Because um, I've had a, a pretty pretty big rush of people the last couple of days. And I think that it's a great opportunity. I, I hate to close it, but I have to close it because um, I have to focus on my members. And and put, put aside all of the, the marketing and the, you know, trying to get new members in. So when I close it, it's because I want to focus on my members. So what I'm doing right now, by the way, if you were wondering, because this is a painting tutorial. Reagan Jones has joined us, by the way. Hey, Reagan. Thanks for coming on. Um, and thank you, Joyce, for that amen. I am using a beautiful, kind of like an aqua blue, but you know what? I would really like it to be... A brighter aqua blue so kind of like a teal let's see I'm gonna add just a tad tad bit bright yeah that's pretty so um my dragonfly is gonna be a little different color than our Louisianians might know our dragonfly is gonna be teal Melanie has joined us hey Melanie And the membership is for any level painter. You do not have to be an experienced painter. I had somebody say, oh, these paintings look like they are for advanced people. No, they're not. I show you every single step of the way how to paint. I mean, I was, I was flattered by 
you know, someone saying that, but they are not for advanced painters. I show you every step of the way. Try members if you're there. Share your knowledge of the membership and let them know what you think. That's right. Okay, so here we go with our dragonfly. I am going to um, use a liner brush now. And by a liner brush, I mean it has a really, really small tip. And I'm going to use black. And I'm going to do just a little bit of outlining on our dragonfly. Jen, is there a particular store that you like to buy your art supplies from? Yes. Did someone ask that? Or are you No, I was just... That? Because I'm wondering, because I know that we've gone to Hobby Lobby, and I know we've gone to Michael's, and I know we download the app, and we always get a percentage of our purchases off. And yes. I'm just wondering. Yes. So, Dana we... Dana on, by the way. Hey, Dana. Thanks for joining us. And guys, if you're on and you want to win this cute little 4x4 four four Easter shelf sitter, if you sprinkle the love, a.k.a. share this video right now with your friends you get a chance to uh, win this easter shelf sitter and it will be delivered to your house lysol sprayed and everything deb has joined and she joined the tribe a few days ago awesome deb so glad you're here um what am i doing i'm i'm drawing right now with black and I'm just kind of adding a little bit of detail to his back. And then... Donna just gave us a shout out. Thank you, Donna. Donna has been... Or Donna LaCour, is uh, that well, what you're talking about? Of course it's a LaCour. Donna has been sewing her heart out for those masks. Thank you, Donna, for doing that for all of our medical workers. I saw my niece asked you to save her one, Candace. And I just want to, I just want to thank everyone that's that's joined in the beginning, that has joined recently. People like Deb, Donna, we we just really appreciate you guys. Um, we we want it definitely to be more than just painting. Um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, we all sent out prayers for a particular person and. And that's what we're about. And so uh, we want you to learn and have some fun. Because we are going to have some paint parties in the near future. Yes. And we're hoping that you map out a time in your schedule to join us for that paint party. And Debbie is sewing masks as well. Oh, that's so oh. awesome, Debbie. I'm so glad y'all are doing that. I Isn't don't that own, fantastic? Yeah, I don't own a sewing machine and I wouldn't even know how to start. So I just, all I do is I keep on sharing people's comments about if you need a mask, let me know. And I'm like, yeah, okay, let me let you know who's, because I don't know how to sew. Kenneth has joined us. Kenneth Dupuy? Yep. Hey, Kenneth. Kenneth is the one who bought our boat. Kenneth, really? Yeah. What a nice man. <laughs> you got a good, uh, did, Ken, Kenneth, I hope you still love it and, and you're using it. <laughs> I wish we had that boat. Okay, so I'm still using black, and I'm doing some... Uh... Wow, Donna's made over 100 masks so far. Wow, that's so awesome. It's sad that we're in this situation, but it also is a blessing to some of us to be able to have the opportunity to help in, in this situation as well. So I'm going to tell you what I like. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I hate what's going on in the sense of, of people suffering. But I love the fact that it has brought like-minded people together to assist one another and to assist those in need and to rely upon God. That's what I love about it. Isn't it? it it's just, it's crazy. And uh, like... If y'all are anything like me, I have anxiety. And today, being from Louisiana and with everything going on in Louisiana, I had to stop watching 
all of the posts that were being posted because I was getting too stressed out. Mm. Because my son, my younger son, is still in school there in Louisiana, in Lafayette, and his girlfriend, and most of our family and friends are still in Louisiana, and it just, it made me... It made me a little stressed today to where I was like, okay, I just need to paint. I just need to paint and I just need to go walk outside and stop watching everything that's going on. So anyway, I don't know if y'all feel like that sometimes, but you're not alone if you do. Yeah. Okay. So that's the start of our dragonfly. He's a pretty aqua blue, but he's going to change a little bit as we go. I'm going to let him dry, and we're going to start working on the wings. Mom, Isabel is on. Hey, Isabel. Thank you for coming on. Sometimes I feel like praying in this group because... Me too. ...of everything going on, so... Debbie said that she plans to paint this later. Okay. Because the dragonfly is something that symbolizes her niece who passed away when she was five. Aww. Debbie, I know that must have been a very, very difficult time. And I am glad that you honor her by mentioning that tonight. Thank you so much. Hmm. That is awesome. Yeah. Okay, so now I am going to get into a little bit of fun with... Um, acrylic paints that are going to act as watercolors. So how do I do that? I take my color, my paint. Can you see this? Hey, Mom, that was Wait. Debbie McLeod, not Debbie Whitlow, who I mentioned earlier. This okay. is Debbie McLeod. Okay. Yep. Debbie McLeod. Do I know Debbie? And we do. We do all need to pray. Well, we don't. We don't know Debbie personally, but Debbie is with us tonight. McLeod is with us tonight, and that's a wonderful thing. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Debbie, for being here. And I hope this helps you be able to paint in memory of your niece. That is so special. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking my black, and obviously I'm making a mess because I'm trying to lean it over so you can see. I'm taking very little black of acrylic paint, and... I'm adding water to it to make it almost like a watercolor. Do you see that? God bless, Joyce. Joyce got to go. Okay, Joyce. Thanks for coming on, boo. Okay, so almost like a watercolor. All right, so watch what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to take my liner brush, and this is a long liner brush. I'm going to dip it in that so-called watercolor. And... I'm going to start making the veins of the dragonfly. That didn't work out as good as I wanted it to, so I'm going to try not adding so much water to it. So what does that do when you don't add so much water to it? Well, it makes, see how it, it made a mess right here? It kind of made it uh, yeah. what thick almost it looks. Yeah. So I, I think I added too much water. But what I'm trying to do is just make some really, really almost watery paint to make the veins of the dragonfly. But I'm going to be able to cover that up in just a minute. Just a really, really skinny liner brush. I'm going to do that here too. And I'm just making like some little veins. Can you see that? I can. So the most important thing is you need this little liner brush. Really, really small. Or you can use a pen. You can actually just use a black pen if you wanted to. Okay. All right. Now we're going to let that dry for a minute. Tessie's got to leave. Okay, Tessie. Tessa. I think it's Tessa. Tessa. Tessa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, was a, I had an English minor. What's that all about? Don't worry, Tessa. I will share it with the group later so you'll be able to come back and see the rest of it. So, 
All right, while I let these little veins dry, I'm gonna go back to the main part of the dragonfly. And I'm just adding a little bit of white. Just making some little accent areas all the way down his back. And I'm just using just a, a small round brush. And I'm just adding a little bit of white. And then I'm also gonna grab a little bit of yellow. Mm. And I'm gonna add just a tad of yellow. I'm gonna clean that brush off though. Cause he's not dry enough yet. So my paints are mixing together. So remember, if you're still here, we have a giveaway tonight. It is an Easter shelf sitter. If you sprinkle the love, AKA share this video in your feed, you get a chance to win this cute little Easter four by four shelf sitter. So. Jane said he looks great. Thank you, Jane, and hello. Yes, absolutely. Thank y'all so much for being here. Yep. It's really a lot of fun to have because we know, you know, everything going on is crazy. And look, whether you join this group or you decide to start crocheting or, or, or doing word puzzles, you guys, during this time, you need to find something that is positive, that promotes well-being, mental well-being, and that allows you to connect with people in the sense of um, uh, social media-wise so that we stay connected and we support one another because that's what's going to get us through these hard times mm -hmm. is love and support. That's exactly right. So, and, 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 and you're so welcome to join us, um, um, the tribe group. It, it, it's, it's more than just painting. Yes, absolutely. And... We are open now for membership. It is $29 a month, which is the cheapest I have seen anywhere for all of the stuff you get. Um, you get four paintings that are really detailed paintings that we actually, um, well, it's actually me by myself because my husband goes to work every day, but he helps me at night when I do the lives. Um, we, I, record the videos because it's longer than just a, um, you know, a 45 minute to an hour painting. The right. paintings take longer and you have free rights to use the paintings to have your own paint parties or sell your art online. So, um... Yeah, it's a great opportunity for you to learn how to paint. And if you're an experienced painter, it's a great opportunity for you as well. Okay, so here's a really cool color. It's called, I'm dripping paint. Let me get something. Um, it's called Iridescent White. And I bought it online from Blick Art. Blick Art Acrylic Series 2 Iridescent White. So what this color has in it is, well, first of all, it's kind of transparent, but it's also got a little bit of um, shimmer to it. Shimmer. Shimmer, yes. I so that's what I'm using. That word. Shimmer. Shimmer, like shine. Oh, shine. So that's what I'm using right now on the wings. Shimmer. So you can still see through, and you can see the veins, and I'm dipping it, it's, it's like a silver color. I'm dipping it in, and then I'm just coming through here. Ginger, great use of the word shimmer. Well, thank you. I don't think I've ever heard that word. Uh, it would be more of a 
female word. I to would reflect think. a wavering, sometimes distorted visual image. To shine with a soft or fitful light. Huh. It's a. It's kind of a female word. Really. Yeah. I didn't know we had female words. Yeah, like if you wear makeup, you talk about shimmer a lot, or like your prom dresses when you were younger. Whenever I wake up, <laughs> put on my morning makeup. What? I say a little prayer for you. Anyway, it's a some song. I'm sorry. <laughs> so. so now I'm kind of covering up. And putting this little shimmer on my wings. It's a beautiful color. And I'm trying to do like the outskirts of the wings have a little more of this color than the inside of the wings. Oops, excuse me. So, like I said, you can still see through the wings. Because remember, you know, your dragonfly wings are kind of iridescent. Right. So that's the, that's the look we're trying to go for here. And if you don't have this, this uh, iridescent white, you can always just use regular white, but make sure you water it down a lot so it's kind of almost like a, a watercolor. Okay. Now we're going to do a little bit more with the black and outline with a liner brush. We're going to outline a little bit more just at the bottom. Can y'all hear that noise? That's our dogs <laughs> on, the, on the top floor. We're in the basement right now. Running. We have a brand new baby GSP that has so much energy. A German short hair pointer. <laughs> we laugh at her all the time. Actually, it's, it's our son's GSP, not ours. But he lives in our basement. So um, we get to enjoy her just as much as he does. A we get to enjoy more. her and him. Yeah. Right? Just a little more white. Because he likes to cook for us. Oh, he loves to cook. He is a cooker, so we don't mind him being here. That's right. I mean, not for that reason, because we love him. <laughs> Okay, now something else that I added that I did not add here is some burnt umber. Do you like it? I, I love it. From where I'm sitting, because I'm kind of below it, it looks like it's golden wings. Yeah, it has, like I said, it has an iridescent um, oh, I didn't know what finish iridescent to meant. it. Iridescent is like a um, shiny. Ah, a like shimmer. A shiny, yeah. It's got a shimmer to it. It has a it. shiny finish. I'm going to use that word a lot tomorrow at work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh I have all kind of messages. What do you mean? Sandy says, oh, they are high energy dogs. Yes, yes, yes. they are, Sandy. Uh, we have two of them. Two of them. Anel says, see through, shimmer. Shimmer, see through. See -through. So again, if you are just joining us, take an opportunity to share this video or sprinkle the love with your friends and that will give you a, a chance to win this cute little Easter shelf sitter that I have sitting right here. Okay, last part, I'm going to take some burnt umber, which is a really, really dark brown, and I'm going to make... I don't know what you call these things, and I'm embarrassed that I don't know what you call them. What do you call these? Um, what? 
Well, look at it in my picture. What do you call those things? Um. <laughs> well, what we used to call them back in the uh, the old country is uh, cattails. Oh, okay, yeah. I just stole that from my nail. I nail. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, cattails. That's right. And Deb, thank you. Ginger Pose, thank you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> cattails. Well, at least we know uh, we Tina, still have people listening Tina, to thank, us. Thank you. That's right. Cattails. Man. Not only if you join Jen's Den <laughs> tribe, you become smarter. Not by listening to us, but by listening to the members. So, <laughs> Roxanne said, this is beautiful, Jen. I hope I can do it justice when I paint. Cattails. Uh, I'm sure you <laughs> Thanks, can. <Rick's> <laughs> oh, wow. I got to do okay, some studying so next time. <laughs> I'm just making it a really dark brown. And then I'm making a little bit of a uh, highlight on the left side of it. I started making the highlight on the right side, but I decided, nope, that's the wrong side. And it's basically just an oval. And then I'm going to take the same color and I'm gonna make um, just a little line depicting the stem and then a little line up here. And you can have fun with that, making all the cattails, 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 all the cattails you want. <laughs> <laughs> Marsha is here. She got here late. This is beautiful, and she loves dragonflies. Oh, that's so good. Okay, we'll, Marsha. We were so for you, Marsha. I painted it twice, and I want y'all to look at the difference in the two paintings. This one is much fatter than that one is. I don't know if y'all can see both paintings here. Can we zoom out, maybe? You know, Ginger points out that the color background really makes the winds or the wings stand out. Yeah. And, and I agree with that. I can see the one on the right better. Yeah. If that makes sense. Because you know yeah. about my vision and all, my color vision. Yeah. Yeah. So this is my first painting of it. Right here. <laughs> Marsha has to throw in, I call them cattails too. <laughs> we'll never <laughs> live that one down. That's going to be our Thanks, new name Marcia. now. Yep. <laughs> oh, Polly just joined. I'm late. This is what Polly says. Oh, I'm late. Love dragonflies. Thank you, Jen. My husband's airboat is named Dragonfly. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. So I'm just showing you. I'm I'm kind of I'm pretty much finished. Um, I might go back. I always do that after I finish a video. I always go back and I. I spend some time focusing on the painting again, just on my own, and I always see something that I could have done different or better. Or... Jane says they both look great. Aw, oh, thank you, Jane. And Deb says she loves the bright background on the one that you painted tonight. Oh, okay, good. So it, it's to... kind of a little more subtle than, the original was just the dark blue, and that was it. I love so... that one that you did tonight. Awesome. Now, yeah. in the in the, second one or the first one that I did I even had um a little bit of pink on the edges right there but I don't know should I do that on that one it's pretty cool this one is a lot of fun I think I'm gonna do a series of bugs like ladybugs and dragonflies and I don't know what else what other kind of bugs uh, I like ladybugs. Yeah, did you just lady, say ladybugs? Yeah, I did. Okay, I thought I came up with that idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I don't want to. Anyway, Polly said, I like, I, I love butterflies, like you just said. Polly oh, says, butterfly, yeah, yeah butterflies. Polly says it's fine, by the way, and uh, she likes the replay. It's beautiful, and hope you both are well. Thank you, Polly. Thank you, Polly. Thank you. Polly. We are. We're doing fine. Um, Michael still has to go to work. He works at the VA hospital in Montana, yeah. but um, thankfully we only have three cases in our county, and none of them are 
at the VA hospital yet. Yeah, right? no cases at the hospital. Uh, Norma is signing off. God bless Norma. Yeah, we're done here too, so we're going to be signing off. And thank y'all so much for coming Jen, on. Jim, before we sign off, I just want to wish uh, all of you uh, just safe stay wherever you are. Yes. Take this opportunity to uh, enjoy your family, enjoy your your gift that God is giving you and uh and, and and let's let's stay together. Let's see if we can do this before we sign off. If y'all can see us. Can you hey see guys. Us? I don't know, we'll have to see if the video uh, shows. Next time I'm gonna wear a tie. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well they can see me. Yeah, Polly Polly's from DC by the way. Oh no they're below DC. Wait, let's see if we can get you in the in the camera before hey we sign off. Can they see you? They can. Uh, they can see my hand, and and uh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right, guys. Bye. Y'all have a great night. Love you guys all, and God Love bless you. you. God yes. bless you. All right. Bye.